Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Casey. So, um, um, we're going to talk about my tattoos and piercings experience. Yeah. Um, and what I'm going to get in the future. So, I have four tattoos, and I had about four piercings, not at once, but I had four piercings. Now, I have only one. So, tattoos first. Okay, so, this one, if you could see this dream catcher. This dream catcher right here. So, like, I have a scar. I have a scar, like, right here, right here. Because when I was eight years old, I uh, ran to a window and uh, I punched it. So, um, to get a lady fired at a group home because I don't want to get into that, but uh, she was very disrespectful to me and um, she would like sit on my ribs and my stomach uh, when she would um, restrain me. And um, I guess I'm getting into it, huh? So, um, she would sit on my ribs and my stomach and I wouldn't be able to breathe correctly. Like, I would be literally gasping for air. That's how big she was. I was like eight, seven or eight years old. I think I was eight years old turning on that. No, I was eight. <coughs> breathe. So, um, she would like sit on my ribs and my stomach and I would just be laying there on the floor crying, telling her to get off and, um, like, please get off of me. Like, I can't breathe. Like, I can't breathe correctly. And she wouldn't get off of me. She would just keep on restraining me. And, um, her name was Lily. I don't know her last name, but her name was Lily. And, uh, she was just very disrespectful to me. I think she hated me. But, anyways, um, but I have a scar right there from trying to get her fired, and I actually managed it. So, I ran to the window later on in my life when I went back to that same group home I, I told them the truth about what happened and um yeah so I have like a scar right here if you can see that white like pale white and I have a scar like right here <laughs> from um, punching the window. So, um, I have four tattoos. That's, this is one. Um, the experience on this one, it hurt like hell. And the line that he did on this uh, feather like the line hurt up here hurt and um when he was doing the circle it hurt the cross didn't hurt that much but the circle hurt like a little bit and the colors didn't hurt only like right here only like right here and like right here And the scar stops about, like, right here. 
and starts from right here. But um, that's one tattoo. My other tattoos, I have focus, focus, okay, focus. Okay, it's focusing. Okay, so I got like, so I got like Samuel right here. He was like my puppy. He was like very, very loyal to me. And, um, well, my mom, my mom and her boyfriend, Victor, Bernard Harrison, if you know that guy, he's probably in jail and he's probably out. I don't know. Put, for putting a scar on my mom's forehead. But, um, um, I think they're like, I think she's telling the truth because he said that, um, she was on meth and she didn't sleep for a couple of days. And, um, yeah, so when she was finally going to sleep, she, uh, she was falling asleep and she fell. She was sitting on the couch and she fell and hit her head on the corner of the table. I actually believe her because he would beat us both. And, um, she said that he went to the bathroom and came back and she had hit her back towards him and he grabbed her by her hair and slammed her forehead into the corner of the table, which I believe <clears throat> because he would beat us. But, um, Samuel was the dog that you would always dream of. I mean, he barked a few times at him when he was beating me. And, like, he would bark at him. And, not growl, but, like, just bark. And, um, yeah, he would just, like, beat us. And, um, Samuel was there for me through my ups and, down, ups and downs and when I would cry. And that's all I want to get into. And then, um, Samuel was just a perfect dog that you would want, that you would wish that you would wish for. <clears throat> he was a chihuahua mixed with a uh, wiener dog and hound, I think, but he was like a chihuahua and he was the size of a wiener dog, like in a chihuahua mixed. So yeah. And then queen, queen tattoo I got because, um, you know, I'm the queen. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm the queen. So, um, nothing, like, bad has happened for me to get that tattoo. But, um, I wanted it for, like, months at a time. And I got a new boyfriend named Jason Mailer. Mailer. And, um, Jason Mailer. And I love him to death. We're still together. And, um, he started calling me queen. And that made me want to get the tattoo even more. I was going to get the word queen like right here, but I decided because there's the bone, the bone is right here 
I decided not to because it would like hurt more. And um, and so I didn't get it there, as you tell. And uh, I just got it, you know, right here, right here. And um. Oh, Samuel hurt a little bit. That was my very first tattoo. Um, this was my second. This was my third. This is my fourth right here, the queen one. And um Yeah. So my boyfriend started calling me queen and I liked it. And I just decided I wanted the tattoo even more. And I was just going to get the word queen. But I decided to get a crown with it because, um, why not, you know? Why not? And, um, I'm the queen. And, um... So I have one piercing, I had four. I had my tongue pierced for like a night and I took it out because the bottom ball kept on falling off and I didn't want to deal with that no more. And then I had snake bites which I took out before my dentist appointment because, um, because everybody thought I was getting my wisdom teeth taken out so. I took my uh, snake bites out and I was gonna put them back in but it was like a week later and they closed up so I didn't put them back in and then the tongue didn't hurt the tongue didn't hurt it was just the healing process snake bites didn't hurt it was just the healing process I got my septum like about maybe a year ago and that didn't hurt. Um, the healing process wasn't bad either, but it hurt to like move it, move the piercing or move my nose because I started doing this. So when I did that, when I got the piercing, I started doing that like nose move. And when I did that, it kind of like was sore and it was hurting, but it didn't hurt like really bad, like the tongue piercing or the snake bites. But um, what I'm going to get, um, <clears throat> Well, when this coronavirus is all over, I'm going to get my thigh tattooed. My thigh tattooed with roses. And I think I'm going to put a name right there. I think I'm going to put a Raya. Because um, I want my daughter's name to be a Raya. So when I have my daughter, I'll already have, like, you know, her name. But if I don't have a daughter, I'm going to adopt a little girl so I can name her Araya. Uh, Ray Marie. But um, then, or it's going to be uh, Raya Lindsay Marie. I think um, I'm going to name her Araya Lindsay Marie. But then I'm going to dye my hair blonde. Well, I'm going to bleach it and then dye my hair blonde. And then I'm going to get like this pierced. Not the middle in my lip. But underneath my lip. And then I'm going to get my nails done. Ombre, pink, and yellow. And then that's about it actually i have one more tattoo to talk about one more so i know it looks like pin or yeah pin but she didn't do it 
quite well. She didn't she didn't want to hurt me, so I seen the baby elephant on the internet and it's not done yet, clearly. I gotta redo the lining and everything and the color. But um so I wanted the baby elephant for good luck with its trunk up too for good luck and um I didn't have all good luck getting this uh tattoo but I've been having some good luck and um I got it from a girl uh, she was one of the staff at my group home and I'm not gonna say her name because um I don't want nobody no cops uh watching this and um figuring out her name and then take her to jail. And I mean she did my tattoo, she said she'll do it for free and I was about to let her do my thigh too because I wanted roses on my thigh. And then, um, but she didn't want to hurt me and she didn't want to, uh, she didn't want to do it so hard to hurt me and, um, she wanted to do it fast before she gets caught and, um, yeah, but that's about it. I'm not going to go into detail because people will watch this and find out who she was and take her to jail or something but she was a really good person she was really nice i really loved her i really did and then um yeah that's about it but that's my experience from all my tattoos and piercings and that's it for this video so don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Can't talk right now. Don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day.